Welcome to Morning Message for December the 26th, Boxing Day. I've heard various explanations about uh, how uh, the term Boxing Day uh, came into being. Uh, one is it was the day when all the presents um, that had been unwrapped were now just a bunch of empty boxes. So it was a day when a house might have been cluttered uh, with boxes. So it was Boxing Day. I've also heard that it was a day when uh, uh, the servants of a large household uh, who had been serving on Christmas Day uh, were able to uh, celebrate Christmas. Uh, with fewer responsibilities within the house and perhaps perhaps might even have received uh, boxes or gifts uh, from the people that they uh, worked with or worked for. Um, the other uh, explanation and perhaps the one I favor the best is uh, it, it was a day when um, uh, you know people began to realize the excesses they had achieved at Christmas and uh, decided to uh, uh, give uh, to those in need, and those gifts might be uh, found in boxes. You know, uh, growing up, uh, my parents always seemed to be surprised that I knew what I was getting uh, for my birthday or for Christmas. And um, I think the, uh, uh, the reason for that was um, a, a strange habit that my dad had. I think he thought of himself as kind of a, music, uh, a magician um, who uh, was doing a little bit of misdirection. You know, look over there and the magic's happening over here. Um, well in advance of Christmas, my dad would begin to complain uh, in front of me and say, you know, he couldn't find that thing that I was wanting for Christmas, whatever it might be. I remember one year I wanted a, a new pair of skates um, I'd always worn hand-me-downs from my brother or from uh, neighborhood boys or whatever. Um, I wanted my own pair of skates, Bowers. And uh, about two weeks before Christmas, Dad started complaining at supper time every night about how he had checked this store and he had checked that store. And there's no size 9 Bower skates anywhere to be had in the cities um, or, or in the province. And they wouldn't be able to order them in on time and stuff like that. And uh, sure enough, on Christmas morning, there'd be uh, a, a present wrapped there, a box, exactly the same size as a pair of Bower skates would be uh, in. And sure enough, there was a pair of Bower skates there. I like those skates so much that I wore them uh, for a few years. I mean, they were pretty hard to get on uh, before I gave them up, uh, but I really enjoyed having my own uh, pair of skates. Um, but that happened all the time. Uh, Dad would always do that little misdirection thing about, uh, uh, about saying that whatever it was was out of stock and I wasn't going to get it for Christmas or my birthday. And I'd end up getting it, uh, getting it anyway somehow. And Dad would always attribute that to sort of the magic of Christmas. You know. And it was a fun little game he played. I played along. Uh, <laughs> I pretended to act surprised when I saw uh, the gift that was under the under the tree, um, and I and I certainly did love those Bower skates. I must say. Um, so here we are on Boxing Day. Uh, my hope and prayer uh, for all of you uh, today is that uh, you will enjoy uh, the good news of the Christmas season, the whole season. I must say, I was surprised one year. I was driving through rural Nova Scotia on. Uh, on Christmas Day and uh, late in the afternoon and I saw Christmas trees in garbage piles uh, out in front of houses. Uh, and perhaps that was wise because the tree might have been uh, up uh, since uh, November or something like that. Uh, but uh, uh, this uh, Christmas is 12 days long. Um, it's not just one day, it's a whole season. Uh, 12 days and my hope and prayer for all of you is that uh, the joy, the wonder, the beauty, the, the, the sheer wonder 
of the good news is a part of every day of your life uh, during this uh, during this Christmas uh, season. So God bless and amen.